Okay, hey, good afternoon. Uh, we're here in Maguro River, uh, right at the largest Starbucks in the world. And currently we're having a tickets number. I got a ticket number 3816. And this ticket was taken at 14.03, and currently the time is 14.30, and we're still waiting outside. Anyways, we're gonna take you inside shortly, and I'm gonna show you around. folks uh, we're inside the uh, Starbucks here the Sparks Reserve okay and uh, as you come in uh, they're gonna provide you a little program a little map to show you all different floors and I will be more than happy to take you through some of these floors uh, to check out some of the uh, scenery here but uh, the um, right now we're having a little coffee and dessert and uh, that is just so wonderful this time so until then uh, stay tuned and we'll show you all around this place all right, hey, so we're currently on the first floor of the Starbucks Reserve. This is where it has the largest uh, main roaster, uh, the main bar. Also, there's a bakery called Pritchy. And uh, later on throughout the show, I'm going to show you the uh, retail area along with the coffee scooping bar. So we're standing here in the front of the one of the copper clad roasters. Uh, in this space is the November 500 series. Uh, this is a large roaster located on the ground floor here. And then there's another one called P25, a smaller roaster located on the third floor. Also on the ground floor is where you're going to find this authentic Italian bakery created by Rocco Pinci. <laughs> On the second floor, it's known for the Tivana. And Tivana is gonna have a bar, the retail area, and also a tea scooping bar. One of the best things about this floor is that you can enjoy both inside and outside the cherry blossom. The outside is where the cherry blossom along the Beluro River. One of the most stunning feature of this uh, roastery is the copper cast. This stunning four-story high Japanese sakura tree the cup of cast invites you to gaze upward. Another unique feature here uh, is the card wall, uh, where they feature many kinds of teas from all around the world. In the retail area, you'll find some samples of how teas are made. And from there, you can pick and choose all the different kind of teas you want. In addition, their brewing and their merchandising helps you make the best tea you can make. On the third floor, you'll find another card wall. This one features all the coffees from all around the world, to include one of my favorites. As mentioned earlier, this is one of the smaller roastery here. And this one is a P25, which features a smaller batch of roasting. Also on the third floor, you'll find the Arribiamo Bar. At this bar, you will encounter the magic of creativity of the coffee innovation. We are now on the fourth floor. This floor is also known as the AMU Inspiration Lounge. And this is where you go and enjoy the company, the discussion, or just hang out and enjoy the coffee all right before we are wrapping up the show we're gonna go down to the retail area where you're gonna be able to find a coffee scooping bar to explore some of the taste and also to bring some of these home so let's go down and explore Here's the wall of cups as you're going down to the second floor. And now we're down on the ground floor, heading toward the, passing the roasters and heading toward the retail area. The retail area is located in the corner of the store where you're gonna find most merchandising, coffee, and other interesting items. 
to help you bring the experience again at home. As for me, I'm bringing home some Uganda Sunride Red Cherry, a small lot coffee. In addition, I'm also bringing home the Whiskey Barrel Age coffee from Guatemala. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.